my name is uh, Setu Vijay Kumar. I'm a professor of robotics at the University of Edinburgh. One of the key things in robotics these days is how we can get robots to interact naturally with people. I think one of the key challenges is how to make robots really adaptive and reactive to the kind of new environments it faces every day. So rather than programming everything from scratch, you would have um, some uh, robots which would learn and exploit the natural dynamics of the world. So, um, so the other uh, sort of big area uh, of, of robotics research these days is what is called imitation learning. Uh, in other words, uh, trying to program robots in a much more natural, intuitive fashion. So similarly, we can get robots to look at uh, behaviors that are captured. Essentially, we can try and create sophisticated algorithms that can map or transpose that behavior onto a slightly different actuation system. So, so one of the robots, this is a now humanoid robot. It's again, uh, it's called a humanoid because it's got uh, arms and legs just like you and me. But what's really interesting is that this robot doesn't just react to things that you programmed it to do. It can change its behavior depending upon the change of environment. So here's an example of the robot using its vision and sensors to find where the ball is in the world, um, keeping balance, walking to it, and executing a move. Um, and it's really all the elements of sensing, perception, action loop is, is displayed in this uh, example. This is uh, two prototypes of their prosthetic hand, the world's first multi-articulating uh, robot limb. Um, and this has been used as a real prosthetic um, device on real patients. Uh, this is sort of half robot, half human, because you're using the signals from the human uh, body to interface with the working uh, of the, uh, to provide the control signals for the robot. So I think overall it's a very exciting time for robotics. Um, there's lots of new advances, lots of new challenges, um, and uh, the promises of the yesteryears are finally coming to fruition, I think, and um, it's, it's a big challenge for the scientific community to um, really exploit this development and find out new ways of um, using this technology in, a, in an interesting fashion that is relevant to society, um, that's exciting, will change our world, um, as well as um, make our life a lot easier and, um, and, and smarter. Thank <laughs> you.